hey what's up guys this is Vikas once again back with another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm not going to show you any infographics guys but in this tutorial I will show you how to create a beautiful text effect like this so I have uses a word here goal so we will try to create this in PowerPoints and let me show you how we can create it very easily in less time this is looking so awesome guys you can use this type of text into your slides or any presentations to make it more better than before so without wasting any further time guys let's get started so i'm going to add a new blank slide over here so just click on insert option here you will find new slide option just click on that and choose a blank slide over here now what you have to do you just have to click on text box option over here and click over here and write a uh, text like uh, i'm going to write again this text goal so press the caps lock key in the keyboard so that you can write in write the word in uppercase okay so g o a and l now what i'm going to do i will select all these text and make it bigger like i'm going to randomly make it 333 like this just click on the style i'm going to choose the another style over here so i'm going to choose impact option over here just choose and drag it over here like this i'm going to make it uh, something bigger than the before slide okay guys so you can choose the size of the text as per your requirement now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on insert option again i'm going to click on shape option over here and choose a rectangle option just cover this text through a random rectangle size doesn't matter here so now right click over here and send this rectangle to back so that we can see the text in the front now what i'm going to do press ctrl a to select all these slides all the elements over these slides and click on merge shape option here you'll find a fragment option just click on that after doing this you have to select this rectangle only and press delete to the keyboard so that we can delete this now this is the extra part i'm going to choose and delete again this is the extra part i'm going to choose and delete now select all these shapes click on format option and make it no outline like this now again click look here uh, is a twist you can see uh, a single word like g is separated in two separate colors so for doing this what i'm going to do i will again going to choose a rectangle option over here and drag this rectangle like this and make it something red like uh, so that we can differentiate between these two shapes and make the shape outline no outline okay now click on the rotate option and here you will find more rotation options just click on that and say minus 45 degree okay so now put this shape over here okay just select g press ctrl before doing this i'm going to make a duplicate copy of this so that we can use it further now i'm going to choose the g shape press ctrl and select this shape means rectangle and say fragment okay Now delete this shape, delete this extra shape over here. Now you can see our G is divided in two separate parts like this and this. You can see. Okay, so do the same thing with the word O, A, and L. Okay. now we're done with the partition of each word now what uh, we have to do we have to uh, fill it with the different colors like we have to use two or three colors maybe 
so in this uh, previous uh, text i'm using i have used a uh, yellow and something uh, like blue sky blue color so now i'm going to use different colors like i'm going to click on this shape click on format option so shape fill option over here and now i'm going to choose this color over here okay and for the lower part of g i'm going to use what this color okay okay so now we're done with the color so i'm going to select all these shapes okay and press ctrl g to group it actually we have to group it separately so i'm going to group this g i'm going to select all o and press ctrl g to group or you can use right click over here you will find a group option say group so this is the two different method to group an object right click over here and select group or you can press ctrl g from the keyboard to make a make a group of an element so now click on this uh, i'm going to select all these shapes and click on effect option over here and here you will find the 3d format option just click on that and make the height 66 like this okay and again i'm going to use the 3d format option over here and make x rotation 50 and uh, this you have to make 10 okay guys again click on 3d format option here you have to decrease the width so that you can find a sharp edges over here you can see uh something uh, rounded edge over here so make it more sharper you have to decrease the width to 0 pt so I'm going to decrease it and you can see the sharpness appearing over here like this. Okay. So this is done. This is done guys. So now I'm right click over here and change here, the background of uh, this so that it can look better. So I'm going to use this background over here so that it can match with the color combination of this text. Okay guys. So this is how simple and this is only a designing part in which I have explained how can, how we can just create a text effect like this. In the next tutorial I will show you a different type of animation we can apply on this particular text to make it more attractive and engaging guys okay. So this is all about this tutorial guys before concluding. I just want to request you guys if you are new on this channel and watching this video for the first time then please do subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you will never uh, miss an update from us and uh, we promise you to bring this type of tutorials um, important tutorials to you so so that's all for today guys see you in the next tutorial till now bye bye and thank you very much for watching this video